Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a very basic and simple motion detection and tracking system using Python and OpenCV. So let me show you what we are going to achieve at the end of this video. So I have this uh, video, which is a sample video, and you can see some people are walking around inside this video now what i want to do here is i want to show these rectangles around uh, these moving people or persons so this is tracking and when some movement occurs i also want to show this kind of status that status is movement because somebody is moving inside the video so if nobody is moving the status will be blank and if somebody is moving, then the status uh, will be movement. So this is what we are going to achieve at the end of uh, this video. So we are going to try to track each and every person. And also we are going to uh, track this person with this rectangle. And also we will show the status uh, as movement when somebody moves inside the video. So let's get started. So to start with, I have this uh, basic code, which just reads a video using video capture class. And then if uh, this video is valid, then I'm going to just show this uh, frame by frame inside I'm show window. And I'm sure you might be knowing all this code because I've shown you step by step how to capture the video or how you can read the video frames using video capture method okay so this is just to uh, load this video and show it frame by frame using i am show method so, so let me run uh, this code first of all to start with so our original video looks like this so some people are moving but we want to track the movement of each and every person and also we want to show a rectangle around them, whoever is moving. So let's get started. So under this uh, video capture code line, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to read two frames from the cap uh, instance. So I'm going to just copy uh, this code and paste it here. So this will be or frame one, let's say. And similarly, I'm going to just read the second frame. So uh, simply we are just uh, declaring two frame uh, one after another, okay? And we don't need uh, this uh, code anymore. So first of all, I'm going to declare a variable uh, diff and using a cv2.abs diff method, so absolute difference, we are going to find out the difference between the first frame and the second frame. So this method abs diff is for finding out the absolute difference between the first frame and the second frame. Now once we have the difference, then we are going to convert this difference into a grayscale uh, mode. So we are going to just say gray is equal to cv2 dot uh, convert color so cvt uh, color and the first parameter here will be our difference which we uh, have found between the two frames so i'm going to just pass diff as the first argument and the second argument will be cv2 dot we are going to convert this bgr color to the grayscale uh, mode and why we are finding out the grayscale uh, mode of uh, this uh, diff because we are going to find out the contour in the later stages and in the last video we have learned that it's easier to find out the contours in the grayscale mode uh, as compared to the colored mode or the bgr mode so once we have uh, this grayscale mode we are going to just blur our grayscale uh, uh, frame. So we are going to uh, just declare a variable called blur. 
and then we are going to apply the Gaussian blur on our gray uh, variable. So CV2 dot uh, Gaussian blur. The first parameter here will be gray. So let's uh, give this uh, gray parameter which we have de defined here. The second parameter here is the K size or the kernel size. So let's say we want to provide the kernel size 5 comma 5 and the third parameter here will be the sigma x value. So we are going to just pass uh, 0 here as the sigma uh, x value. Now we are going to find out the threshold. So we are going to just say underscore because we don't need this uh, first uh, variable and then the second variable will be thresh is equal to cv2 dot uh, threshold and the first parameter which it takes is the source. So we are going to pass our blurred image as the source and then the second parameter here will be the threshold value. So we are going to just provide 20 here. Then the maximum threshold value will be uh, 255. Then the type will be uh, cv2 dot thresh binary. So in the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to dilate the thresholded image to fill in all the holes. This will help us to find out the better contours. So there is a method called cv2.dilate. So we are going to just declare a variable called uh, dilated and then we are going to apply this uh, method. So cv2.dilate which takes few arguments. The first argument will be our thresholded uh, version of uh, the image. The second argument here will be the kernel. So kernel, let's say for now we are going to provide none here. Okay, so the kernel size will be uh, none. And then uh, third parameter will be the number of iterations. So let's provide the number of iterations. And the number of iterations we are going to provide here will be three. So if it doesn't work, we can increase or decrease the number of iterations. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to find out the contour. So as you all know that contour or find contour method is going to give you two results. One is the contours and other is the hierarchy. So we are going to just say contour and the second uh, result we are going to just say underscore because we are not going to use this uh, second result. And then we are going to uh, just say cv2 dot find contours and we are going to find the contours on this dilated image. So we are going to say dilated. Now the next argument here will be the mode. So the mode which we are going to use here will be retter underscore uh, tree. So I'm going to just write retr underscore tree which is uh, most commonly used. And then uh, the next argument here will be the method. So the method here will be cv2 dot uh, chain approx simple. And once we have our contours, we are going to just draw the contours because we already uh, found out the contours. So we are going to just say uh, draw contours. And the first argument here will be uh, frame one because we want to apply all the contours on the original frame, right? So we are going to apply all the contours which we have found using all these method on the frame one. And then the second argument here will be the contour. So you can uh, just give the contours here. And the third argument here will be uh, the contour ID. I can uh, just say minus one, which is uh, going to apply all the contours and the third and the next argument will be the color. So let's say we want to provide the green color. So I'm going to just uh, say zero comma 255 uh, comma zero and the next will be the thickness. So let's say we want to provide the thickness of two here. So now it's going to draw all the contours which we have found with the difference of frame one and frame two, right? And then we are going to just uh, display this frame one. So we can just say this is our uh, feed 
and the result after applying the contour will be saved in the frame one which we will display now in the next step what we are going to do is we are going to assign the value inside frame two into frame one so we are going to just say frame one is equal to frame two and then inside our frame two we are going to read a new value so we are going to just say r e t comma frame two is equal to cap dot read okay so we are reading the new frame in the variable frame two and the, before reading the new frame we are assigning the value inside the frame two to the frame one in this way we are reading the two frames and finding out the difference between uh, the two frames so let's run this code and let's see if it works or not uh, let's test this so you can see now there are these contours which are drawn around all the moving uh, persons also there are some contours uh, which are drawn around this rope which is also moving right so we have successfully determined the contours and we have already drawn these contours on the frame one but this was not the result we are looking for we want to draw the rectangle around these moving uh, persons and also we want uh, some noises to be removed so we don't want to uh, draw the contour on the moving uh, rope let's say okay so how to remove these uh, noises and how to draw these rectangles let's see so now in the next step what we are going to do is under or before we are drawing these contours we don't want to uh, draw the contours now we want to draw the rectangles right so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate over all the contours so we are going to just say uh, for contour so from contours we are going to find out contour in contours right so this is the list and we are iterating over this list so inside this for loop the first step will be to save all the coordinates of the found contours okay so we are going to define the x coordinate then the y coordinate and then we are going to uh, just say width comma height and there is a method called bounding rect which we are going to apply on the contour so we are going to uh, just say is equal to cv2 dot bounding rect this is the method which we are going to apply which is going to give us uh, the x and y coordinate and the width and height right and we are going to apply this bounding rect method on the contour which we are getting using this uh, contours list now in the next step we are going to find out the area of the contour and we are going to just say if this area is less than certain value then we don't want to do anything we don't want to uh, draw a rectangle or anything we just want to continue otherwise if this uh, contour area is greater than uh, let's say uh, some kind of a person's area then we want to draw a rectangle on it so inside this for loop we are going to just uh, define a if condition so we can say if cv2 dot contour area so there is a method called uh, contour area which is this one where we can pass our contour so we are going to pass our contour and if the area of this contour let's say is less than 700 then we are going to just say continue so this code essentially mean that if the area of the contour is less than 700 then we are going to do nothing we don't want to draw any rectangle otherwise if the area is greater than 700 then we want to draw the rectangle so we are going to just say cv2 dot rectangle we have already uh, learned how to draw a rectangle on an image using the rectangle method 
the first argument here will be the source which will be frame 1 the second argument will be the point 1 so we are going to just say point 1 will be x comma y the third argument will be point 2 so we are going to just say x plus w comma y plus h the next argument will be uh, the color so let's say the color will be the same 0 comma 255 comma 0 the next argument will be the thickness let's say we want to give the thickness uh, 2 as we have done uh, with the draw contour we have provided the thickness of 2 here right now in the next step we are going to just uh, uh, print some text on the image if some movement is observed so we can just say cv2 dot uh, put text this also we have seen in the previous videos how to put text on an image so this time the source will be our frame one the second will be the text so we will uh, just say uh, status let's say and if there is some movement we are going to just say uh, colon in the curly brackets we are going to just use the format method so this is just uh, formatting the result using the string and we are going to just say movement the next argument here will be the origin so where we want to put this text let's say we want to put this text on uh, 10 comma 20 coordinate and then the next uh, argument will be the font face so we are going to just say font face will be cv2 dot font font hershey simplex let's say so we are going to use uh, this font and uh, the next argument will be the font scale so let me just uh, uh, do this on the next line so font scale will be let's say one the next will be the color of the font so let's say the color will be 0 comma 0 comma 255 and then the last argument will be the thickness so let's say the thickness will be 3 and this code is going to put the rectangle around your moving uh, persons if the area of uh, that uh, contour is greater than 700 okay so let's run this code and let's see if it works or not so i'm going to just uh, run this code and you can see that status is movement because all the persons here are moving and you can see these rectangles which are drawn around the moving persons and this noise which we were uh, seeing in the previous result is also gone around the movement of uh, this rope okay so sometimes uh, this uh, uh, rectangle is drawn on the movement of the rope also so in this case you can also increase the expected area let's say we just want to find out the contours which are greater than 900 and we can uh, now you can see uh, these rectangles are drawn around uh, these moving persons with the area which have the uh, contour area more than 900 so you can remove these kind of uh, noises from uh, the frame uh, using this area so this was a very basic example how you can uh, detect the motion and track your uh, moving object inside your uh, video using python and opencv i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video